Hey guys. So lately that I've been feeling like I need to save time and speak on my YouTube instead of, you know, just sitting here. So I decided to purchase one of the new stuff here, which is, what is that? Twist? Oh, no. Um, this is rear view mirror and full holder. So as you see, it's, you always see um, a lot of people use the suction cup to block it on their mirrors and all that but I, I like something in front of my face and it's not pumping uh, to make sure that it's safe and secure at the camera so I actually found this from um, Amazon and you actually can find this on my Amazon storefront if you would like to purchase this but actually I will show you how to set up and the reviews before um, make that purchase so for this one, it's a rear view mirror full holder for car 360 rotatable and retractable. So as you see here in the box, um, this mirror height is 5.6 to 8.6 centimeter and also 2.2 to 6 centimeter mirror thickness. And also the length for this is 26 to 33 centimeters extendable, which is zero to 5.5 centimeter so for this one um out of phone clip only on the package it's different uh, functions but you can see this is navigations recorder uh co-pilot watching a play and also self shooting and watching recording and foul all of view um so you know there's a lot of functions that we can we can use all right right now let's actually come into recording it i mean open the box to see how it look and everything in here alrighty so this is two parts of it first thing first is this one this is how they look also that's the first part oh I will do that later second part or third second one is this one right here and these two okay lastly is the full holder Let's see the manual. Ah! Ow! All right. So, installations diagram. So for this one, first tighten the fixing snap screw. Um, I think this is the one right here. And secondly is put this one in here. Okay, it came in. Second, losing the knob to adjust the angle. Lock it after the appropriate angle. So I believe it's this one right here. And there's another one in the back. So you put it inside and rotate it to tighten it up. There we go. And third is put the fixed nut, the fixing nut, then insert into the marble form bracket. So you see this little one right here? And there's a hole in the back. So put this one in here. In order to do that, you need to loosen up this this one. So open a little bit so the the nut can go in. This cannot go in. You need to lose it out a little bit.
you gotta push hard a little bit in order to let the, the nut or the ball come all the way in. There we go. It's a bit too tight here. Anyway, there. It seems complicated here. Okay. Alright. So, fourth is tighten the nut. Which is, I did, I guess. Five, open the four buckles in turn. Four buckle. Four buckle? Oh, okay. So this is actually like, like this. You pull it out by push this button right here. So it's, can a truss go all the way out? So it's all already out, so you can just push it a little bit, it will come out as much as needed. This might be hard from the beginning, but um, you know, do it slowly. The challenge. Alrighty, so rotate enough to adjust the size of the appropriate mirror lens. Oh, so there's this one right here. You just kind of like open it. So this can go out a little bit, I guess. Yeah. Because depends on the mirror size. Some can be small, some can be big. So this is how you open it from the back of the knob right here and then seven snap the bracket to the rear view mirrors so this can be doing by doing this open up and down so actually let's come down to the car and install this one because we need to make sure it look good functions or not so let's do that Hey guys, so right now I am follow the instructions to install the rear mirrors right now. So technically, I did everything they shows in here. So it's a little bit complicated, but as mentioned, um, we're about to figure it out together. So snap the bracket on the rear mirrors. So this is from the back. So we'll do it from the back like this. And when you, when you do the back, this is actually moving. So I'm gonna do it here. That's a bit challenging because this mirror is kind of tight here. Should this be in the back? Yes, but there's there's black stuff in here. I don't know how can I actually like put it in. Maybe I need to move like this first. Because I also have this one, so maybe I I'm gonna take this off first. Oh, okay. So this one actually at the bottom, and we can actually trust this later too, or maybe we should gotta take it out right now to in order to like rotate it in the right way because I put it wrong. So it's supposed to be like this, and then. Okay, there we go. So, right now I will put this in. Cool. Um, I think I also cannot trust this as mentioned earlier. 
you can pull from the back. There's a button. scratch my mirror so I will take it off and lose this up a little bit okay there we go cool a desk you can actually adjust, adjust it by you know make sure it stay Okay, there's this one. There we go. If it's too loose, push it up. Push it back. right then press the pusher so this one can press it and then I don't know what is this for press you can actually press and release this or move this one. Oh, okay so press and it will go down longer or shorter it's up to you or you can just press and push it up There we go. Cool. Okay. And press the pusher. It's in right here. So you can open the full holder. How cool. All right. So I'm going to show you the functions here. This is how it's supposed to be. All right. So this is how it looked like. And as you can see, this one is the clip rears mirror. They have its little pad. Not sure you see it, but this is the pad for you to protect. It's not scratching. And um, in here is the telescopic rod. It actually can go up and down when you push it, as you can see. And for this, you just push like this and it will open the, the phone. This you can slide up too. It's really easy. And this is adjustable Y from 60 to 96 mm. mm. Um, and then for these are different sizes as well. Um, so this is the thickened spawn, spawn so you cannot um, protect it. Press the lock right here. So all of that, those are not. And then the button and then also the putter. So let me try right now to put my phone in and I'll just see how the angles and everything. All right, so for this, you actually can rotate the phone holder because you know we have the 16 for youtube and then iphone i mean uh, instagram and for tiktok so this is actually really um helpful and let me actually put it in right now i was actually test driving to see if it's like shaking how the quality of the videos and everything too so follow me on this so i'm push this on to open this so when it's actually the best way is to clip this angle there we go and now we rotate us to this one okay let's start driving i'm gonna put sit down on it's kind of cold in here I turn the ac off Um, since I have a camera right here on my phone and this a little bit like kind of long um, so I don't know if I actually can move a little bit 
to make it shorter, but that's just how it is right now at the moment. Yeah, I think since my car is a bit short, it's the sedan, so everything is every short. But yeah, let's go. I like this a lot. It's usually I was really struggling with finding a good camera or I mean like a tripod in the car. Because, you know, like, I don't like it to wait too low. It can block the view, um, you know, or the angle is not good enough. And this is way too perfect. Actually, I can use this to put my phone and record while driving too. Um, you know, so you guys can actually see the road trip next time. But this is how, right now, is the angle of the car. Um, and so far, I like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just do two-minute drive. A test um, you know if it's shaking if I need to adjust it a little bit but I can see the phone is like kind of shake um, but you know you cannot really control that at the moment okay, make a turn here. since for this I can also like move the camera I guess like this go up a little bit without any like stop the, the car because it's just really convenient okay let me pause and show you guys the view in the front and check it so this is how it look of the front camera um, I can easily adjust it down too if I need it So this only cost me around, um, maybe with tax, maybe $13, um, but it's really uh, interesting setting. It's really fast actually, uh, not complicated and the material also light, but because I don't have to hold it, so it's even better and it's attached with the mirrors of the car, the front mirrors or the rear mirrors here. So um, everything is just convenience by far already so that's what we have right now and I will go back to the room and even do a little bit testing editing and if you guys like it you guys can purchase or find this um, tools on my Amazon Amazon uh, storefront and you know purchase it all right that's the end of the tour and I think this is not a trustable um, but you can move I'm not sure you can move but you can actually trust the knob in the back a little bit um, to you know move this like this you know if needed so people actually can watch and you can actually extend this so they can do more stuff where you do this and then block that ball right there and it's you know different angle too but now that's it that's a wrap and i will show you the front of how it look uh, from the outside of the car but this when you um, push hard it can actually move the mirrors a little bit too so this is how it look right now in the front uh, it doesn't look good from the outside, but whatever is convenient inside, that's better. Uh, but I actually just aware that right now in in the front, I can see um, what inside my car. So that's not actually safe. But anyway, thank you for watching. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy a little bit tour and test drive. And I think by far, 
the quality wasn't bad it's shaking but it's still stable and still acceptable so like i said i really enjoyed this purchase it's i think it's the best or 13 dollars that i've ever spent and this will be amazing future for another videos or upcoming videos about travel road trips and all that too and thank you so much for watching Thank you.